Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can convert your Python file into a Windows executable .exe file. So first of all, let's see that what is the system requirement or what package you need to install. So we'll be using pyinstaller. Now let me open the command prompt and simply write pip install pyinstaller. Press enter and this package will be installed for you. Now for me, this package is already installed. So let's go ahead. Okay. Now I'm going to use the Python file from one of my previous video, which was on typing test. I'll provide the link in the description for that tutorial also. Now press the shift button and the mouse right click to open this option and then select open PowerShell window here. Okay. And then simply write pi installer just a second pi installer and now there are a few parameters present for this pi installer the first parameter say that whether you want a terminal to be present behind your program or not okay so second parameter says whether you want all your files or all your dependencies into a single executable file or you want them into different folders the third one signifies whether you want an icon or not so i'll explain you each parameter briefly okay so first of all let's see if we just convert this python file without specifying that no terminal option so let's do that it will take some time first Okay, so now the process is over. Let's go to this dist folder, then the folder with the project name, and then let's scroll down. And there you can see that this is the executable file. Okay, let's run this. And there you can see our program is running, but we are also having a terminal at the back. Now you can get rid of this terminal by specifying a parameter while conversion okay so let me show you how that could be done so let me remove this and once again shift plus mouse right click or i'll simply open this window here okay now just write pi installer and before writing the file name just add a hash and w okay so this parameter defines whether you want a terminal or not okay now the second parameter says whether you want all the dependencies and files in the same exe file or you want them in different folders as we have seen before. Now let me undo this and show you that how they look. So there you can see if we open this test file you can see there are a lot of dependencies here and if you want to give this application to your friend you have to give all these dependencies also and we don't want that so what we'll do is we'll add another parameter here which is capital F okay and now the third parameter says that whether you want to add an icon or not now by default we can see we are having a ugly looking icon I cannot see also okay so by default we are having this icon now you can add manual icon like i'm adding this first uh, dot ico icon now you cannot add the png or jpg format image as icon you have to convert them into dot ico format now you can easily convert them by going online to this website or any website of your like and then convert it into an icon file okay i'll provide this link in the description okay so what you need to do is you need to write these three parameter first defines that you don't need a terminal to be running at the background second parameter means that you want all the dependencies in the same executable file and third parameter says that you want a manual icon now what you need to do is you need to first write the path of the icon so i'll simply drag and place it here okay and then we we need to write the file name so 
test.py now press enter and see the magic happen okay so the process is done let's open this dict function sorry this dict folder and there you can see that there is no dependencies but we are having only one application with our manual icon now i cannot zoom here so but you can see that it is not having that ugly looking icon but it is having a manual icon this is a big file because it is having all the dependencies inside and if we click it then we can see that no terminal is present at the back okay so now you can give this exe file to your friend and they can enjoy your program your game or anything you have created without any problem okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye